Today I'm going to be your instructor for how to make easy cupcakes. Now, a quick overview of today. Um, I'm going to introduce myself, kind of give you some background, um, what really qualifies me to stand up here. I'm going to go over the recipe real quick. I'm going to demonstrate what every, all that look like, looks like, uh, and then I'm going to conclude. So, um, as you will remember from my previous two um, presentations, um, I'm pretty qualified. I've been baking forever and cooking for as long as I can remember. Whether it's a cheesecake, whether it's I'm making crepes, cupcakes, cookies, you name it. Um, I feel like I'm fairly qualified. Uh, and then in the last presentation, I explained what all these ingredients do. I also brought some in for you all to try. Uh, and then there's the purpose of this whole uh, presentation. That's going to be for me to show you how to make the cupcakes and then y'all can do it on your own. So, the recipe itself. I've shown it to you before. It's on your handout. Um, real easy. You've got <coughs> German chocolate box cake mix. You can find it everywhere. It's like two dollars. Next, you have your pudding mix. Um, your pudding mix is going to come in two uh, sizes. There's a smaller size, it's about like that, and then there's your larger, uh, about six ounce size. You're going to want the six ounce size, because um, believe it or not, this recipe was intended to, for a bundt cake like pan, but I found that it works better in cupcakes. So, get your pudding. Uh, next, you also have your eggs. You're going to need four eggs, large eggs. Now, everybody knows eggs. You can buy them in half dozen, pretty straightforward. Um, then you're going to have sour cream. So two cups of sour cream, 16 ounces, one cup is eight ounces, or you can buy it in a pound. It's like two bucks. It's pretty easy. It's going to help keep it moist. Uh, next, you're going to have vegetable oil. You probably don't need to buy as much as I have here, um, but it's what you can find at Walmart, Target, Payless, you name it. Everybody has it. Uh, canola, canola oil would also work. Um, olive oil would definitely not work. It's got too much of that olive taste. It, let's be like real, no one wants olive cupcakes. Uh, and then it calls for a third of a cup of Kahlua, but vanilla also works as well. Uh, I bought this at Walmart. It comes in a nice little three ounce bottle here and all you need to do is just dump it. And then last but not least, the chocolate, the party. Everybody loves chocolate cupcakes, but chocolate chips are where it's at. This is a 12 ounce bag, so you can just dump half and then eat the other half. Uh, and then you're just going to put everything in that bowl. You're going to mix it all up together. Um, and then using a, uh, I like to use a large tablespoon. You just kind of spoon it into the individual cupcake liners. Um, you can use just the pan itself. You don't have to use the cupcake liners, but you're going to want to spray the pan with um, cooking spray, Pam, um, so that they don't stick. Um, I just find that using the cupcake liners makes it very easy. I'm going to show you how all this goes in there. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dry ingredients. So that's going to be your cake mix and that's going to be your pudding mix. And so uh, get yourself a nice big bowl uh, and just go ahead and you know, rip it open, slice it open, whatever, and dump all of it into your uh, bowl. And what that's going to do is the reason why I like to put the uh, dry ingredients in first is that it's easier to stir in the wet ingredients um, after you have uh, put the dry ingredients in. Um, less clumps form that way. Whereas if you put your uh, dry, uh, wet ingredients in first and your dry ingredients, you need clumps. And that's just going to lead to a very inconsistent product and frankly nobody wants gross cupcakes. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and take your pudding mix. Just go ahead and do the same thing as your uh, cake mix. And just dump all that right on top of your cake mix. Uh, what that's going to help do is uh, the gelatin in the uh, pudding is going to help uh, give the cupcakes some form, help them stay a little more rigid, uh, which is what you want. Just again, if you go a little bit over on your uh, vegetable oil, for example, and you could have mushy, gross cupcakes. You have to bake it longer, your 
edges get too crispy, you don't want that, it's a pain in the butt. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, the vanilla. And then after I add in my vanilla, I'm probably going to add my eggs. Actually, I'm probably going to add in my eggs last because that will get my hands dirty and uh, it will make everything else just kind of a pain. So then I'm going to add in the uh, sour cream. I'm going to make sure to add the chocolate chips in last so that uh, you don't have anything like a raw egg that sticks to your chocolate chip. You just kind of want to have all your batter mixed and after you have your batter mixed you want to uh, add in your chocolate chips. Just go ahead and dump all the sour cream in there. All of it. I know it seems like a mud, like a whole lot, but this recipe makes about three dozen to 40 cupcakes, as you'll see from last time. Um, that's definitely enough for you and like maybe a friend. <laughs> maybe that's just me. But I have definitely been known to eat, you know, cup these cupcakes in one bite, one after another, and then I run out. And I kind of sort of wondering to myself, what did I do with my life? <laughs> so, then I'm going to add in the vegetable oil. It calls for three quarters of a cup. Uh, pretty standard. Um, some other recipes, they'll call for, uh, uh, they call for like water. Uh, like brownie recipes, I know they like to use water in them. But uh, this recipe, like I said, pretty easy, straightforward. Less ingredients, the better. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and crack my eggs. I would love to be able to do this one handed, but uh, I'm not that talented. <laughs> Besides, if I fail and it cracks and goes all over the table, then it gets messy, it's really gross. Absolutely nobody wants that. So, let's go ahead, dump these right on in here. Um, if you get shell in your mix, uh, you should be able to see it, but a really easy way to get it out is to use part of your eggshell and just kind of scoop it out. Um, I found that that is at least the, the best technique that works for me. And then you're just going to go ahead, take your mixer, and mix this all up. I usually go ahead and break apart the egg yolks first, because if I don't have a mixer, it makes this a lot easier than just my handy dandy little whisk here. Um, but they both work really well and they get the job done. So, it's mixed. Go ahead and dump the chocolate chips in. Um, I just eyeball it. It's frankly, a little extra, you know, chocolate chips never hurt anyone. All right? And just kind of go, eh, yeah, all right, there we go. So, okay, a little more than half, maybe three quarters of a bag. But yeah, let's go ahead and stir that all up. And then, it doesn't have to be perfect. But you can just go ahead and take, you know, I'll just do one here, make it really easy. But you can put it in there, take a spoon, I usually get a nice big spoonful. Uh, and then I make sure, you know, obviously I don't want to mess. And then I try to fill up the, uh, the cupcake liners, I try to fill them up two-thirds of the way. Uh, that way they have room to rise. Um, so y'all can go ahead and you know, finish out your pan. Um, having more than one pan really helps. 